Hello everyone, my name is Reese. welcome back to Threes to Wound. Today we're going to do a really quick video, I thought it was important, we get this out before Christmas, but there has been an announcement, if you saw at the very end, the very bottom part of the latest edition of, uh, which is December, for White Dwarf, they have made a sneaky little mention of a potential of a new, well not the potential, it's happening, a Gene Stealer Cult uh, bespoke uh, kill team or custom team that's coming in, so let's do a quick video to chat about it. So there it is, there's a graphic, and it says in the next issue, on the 21st of January, we are getting a new kill team, and it is for my beloved Gene Stealer Colts, which is great, because I haven't had a whole bunch to talk about them. I've done some long, big videos, diving quite in depth to them in the compendium about what they can do and their teams, but yeah, I haven't sort of played them or gone back to that team for a while, because there's been nothing new, and there's lots of new and exciting bits and pieces. Call of the Hive Mind has brought me back. It's calling me home, uh, making sure that I return to the Gene Stealer Colts, ready to welcome back the beloved Forearm Emperor. It's pretty exciting, it's pretty cool. Uh, I thought I'd just make this video to quickly talk about the things that I hope are in it, because we don't know anything other than it's happening. We've got this tiny little graphic just telling us that it's happening. So I just thought I'd throw some ideas out here about what I'd like to see, what I hope to see, uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. So make sure you jump in the comments, tell me if you've heard any rumors, if you know any more, if you've seen any pictures. Um, yeah, share it all because we want to know and we want to get excited and we want to build the hype around this because I, for one, am very excited. The first thing I want to talk about is obviously we've seen the release of the Shadow Throne box set at this point. Uh, myself as a Gene Stealer Colts player, meh. It was okay. Um, I already owned all the models that were in that, um, and there was nothing really apart from the new uh, the new model, the Reductus Saboteur. I think that's saying it right. I mean, they've always got really interesting names. A uh, really cool model. Uh, I love the model. Would I buy the box set for that model? Well, no, I didn't. The Custodes are great as well. I actually don't have a Custodes kill team, so it could have been an interesting way, but again, uh, I think it was Glass Half Dead dived in this a bit. That box set doesn't really work that well with what we're looking at in Kill Team, or at least at the moment. It's obviously got the Terminators in there, it's got special characters. For the Gene Stealer Cult, it's got your Neophytes, it's got lots of characters. So a lot of things that aren't really tying into a full Kill Team. So it's a lot of money to spend to not be able to guarantee you're going to get a Kill Team out of it. Unless this new White Dwarf, uh, you know, issue shows us something or an a unlocks a door or a little bit of extra character, I still don't think the value is necessarily there. Not without you sort of doing a bit of uh, maybe trading or upselling, but I think there's definitely better ways to go than that box set to get yourself into the Gene Stealer Colts in the Kill Team world. Unfortunately, it's not a great team to do a one box set. Uh, buy, you know, you can't just jump straight into it. If you were wanting one box to jump into and to start collecting the Gene Stealer Colts uh, for Kill Team specifically, or eventually to build up to the bigger game of Warhammer, uh, the start collecting box is much better. It's got the 10 Neophytes, it's also got uh, 5 Acolyte Hybrids or Metamorph Hybrids which you can build in there, and it's got an Achilles Ridge Runner which is just a cool vehicle. So it's significantly cheaper and it's going to give you all the stuff you need to uh, get you off in the right direction for the Gene Stealer Colt. That is unless something cool, something changes, something massive, something dynamic. I don't know what it could be. If we do look at what's happened with the existing White Dwarf team so far, so we've seen the Mechanicus one, the Hunter Cadre, I think it is, um, and we've also seen the Warp Coven for the uh, Thousand Suns. Both really cool teams. I actually haven't got to play uh, the Thousand Suns one yet, but I have played the Mechanicus, and I really like it. But we did see with that, it didn't necessarily change... Uh, the types of units you could take, it just uh, changed how you brought them. It also brought in a lot more specialist characters. It made that list a lot more customizable, which is really, really cool and what I really, really liked about it. So I'm looking forward to that with the Gene Stealer Cult, getting a bit more maybe of theme uh, to some of those models in the army. I've got a million neophytes, I've got all these acolytes, all these hybrids. It would be cool to see a bit more of a specialism kind of thing. And speaking of specialisms, the Gene Stealer Cult does have a few characters that might even be able to slide in uh, all right and jump in and cause some mischief straight away. So if we swing back around to the characters, this is where I think maybe we might see the beginning of what we saw with that last edition. I guess an Elite's Light or, uh, you know, uh, 
I guess having the commander's light, you know, those part expansions without expansions. We saw it with the warp coven in the thousand suns. We saw all of a sudden they went from just having, the, I guess, the sergeant sorcerers to all of a sudden they've got proper sorcerers and now all of a sudden that's a different character that's not something that just comes in the box set standard that's an extra character you can add in the other thing that also added to was a lot more psychic power So we're starting to see more teams have who usually have access to psychic powers or who it's a bit of their DNA. That's sort of coming out a little bit more. Grey Knights, Thousand Suns, uh, and maybe the Gene Stealer Colts could be the next team to sort of see some more character or at least elite type option characters included in the team. The Reductor Saboteur could work really, really well. We already know with the Krieg, we already know they've got their own demolitions and explosive guys. We already know that the Space Marines have guys who can plant mines and lay mines throughout the battlefield. It's very thematic with what we want to see on the, you know, a kill team type battle. We want to see these guys sabotaging the battlefield or making terrain dangerous or whatever. I think there's some really, really good options and I think the timing of the box set release, although the rest is a bit underwhelming, that potentially could be a character that would slot very easily into uh, the existing kill team. Wouldn't shake it up or break what's going on, but would definitely make it uh, the Gene Stealer Cult team feel a bit more unique, add that uprising, uh, underground, improvised, explosive, all that stuff that we love about the Gene Stealer Cults. It would bring a bit of that flavor. The other one, again, in the box set is the Magus. And we talked, touched on psychic powers there. And if there was ever a team that uh, really in the in 40K, uh, you know, uses and utilizes a whole bunch of psychic powers to make their guys better, to make the enemy less better -er. It's definitely the Magus and the Gene Stealer Cult. Obviously, I don't think we're going to see something like the Patriarch involved. I think that might be a bit of a bridge too far uh, in terms of that uh, behind enemy lines. But a Magus, maybe we can we can squeak that over the line. Maybe I'm being a bit optimistic. Maybe that is more a full-blown commander, but I definitely think there's room for that. I just think having a character like this can add a lot of flavor and a lot of theme to what the Gene Stealer Colts can do. We got a great insight into a bit more of behind the scenes of the Games Workshop's way of thinking with the Gene Stealer Cult too. Uh, if you managed to watch Angels of Death on Warhammer TV, uh, a really good little insight into how they sort of see a lot of the characters working. So the Primus could still manage to sneak in there. I, I might be wrong that they think maybe he is more of a hands-on kind of leader. Um, but also the Magus, we saw two pulling the strings. But I don't know, which one of those characters would you see being behind enemy lines leading these soldiers forward? The only reason I like the Magus more is at bringing in the psychic powers. And I do kind of picture it's like for a very particular or a mission that must succeed, I do picture it would be the Magus that would be guiding the Gene Stealer cults towards that. So yeah, just another, a couple of potential little characters that could drop in there. I'm pretty excited to see if any of them make it in. The last one I want to touch on is my favorite from the last edition. I always had a few of these models in there and we know that the Tyranids get them, but it's the Gene Stealers. These guys are called the Gene Stealer Cult. The Cult's kicked off by those Gene Stealers. I would love to be able to see one. I know we can't have the big Patriarch model. We can't have that huge, big granddaddy Gene Stealer. But always being able to take one or two Gene Stealers always felt, uh, you know, felt hugely, hugely thematic in the army in Kill Team 2018. And again, we saw them in Angels of Death. It was something that they added. You know, it's that real escalation. It suits into that sneaky, behind enemy lines, uh, gene stealers picking off people, uh, and it adds a real new threat to, uh, you know, what's already a pretty interesting list with the hybrids and the metamorphs and, and all that, what the gene stealer cults can take. Where this game's at right now, I can't see that being the next step. I'd love to be surprised. Um, it happens a lot, but not this time. So that's it guys. This was just a really quick video. I just wanted to share my thoughts and I, yeah, I really want to hear your thoughts out there as well as to what you think is coming in that new Gene Stealer Colts kill team. Obviously when it arrives, I'll do my very best to get it as quickly as I can and play some games and test it out and, and let you guys know my thoughts so you can, uh, you know, know what's going on, know if it's worth uh, spending the time to get involved with. Uh, but for me, Gene Stealer Colts, it's a no brainer. I'll definitely be there. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my name's been and we'll see you next time.